guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today I have my sample Sunday to share with you guys so I have some fun products to share with you guys for that I've been trying out for about two weeks because I did take a little break since we were on our vacation so the first product I want to talk about is this right here this is the Al Algenist Genius Ultimate Melting Cleanser this cleanser comes out green but when you put it onto your skin it melts in just like an oil so it will help to remove your makeup I really have been enjoying this cleanser I feel like it does a great job of removing my makeup especially tough makeup that's hard to get off like eyeliners and things like that it doesn't sting my eyes it doesn't leave that film over your eyes sometimes where cleansers can do that I know a lot of cleansers if I put them around my eyes then I open my eyes and you get that foggy feeling on your eyes this does not do that whatsoever I really do like this cleanser I think it's a really good one so this is something that I personally would consider purchasing the next thing is this right here is the uh, Vita Liberata 10 minute tan so it says rinse after 10 minutes so this tan stuff right here I was really scared to use it but trust me guys I used it it's completely empty so I was scared that I was gonna end up having Oompa Loompa status and I was like oh my gosh because I'm not good with self tanners but this one was really easy to use first of all you just put it onto your dry skin before you get into the shower and leave it on for about 10 minutes and then get into the shower and wash it off. Make sure you wash your hands before you do that, like before you get into the shower, or like right after you do it, because if not, your hands can turn orange. But I did that and like, I felt like my tan looked very natural. It looked like a very natural tan onto my skin and everything. I was able to blend it in really well. I didn't have any kind of marks or anything. My skin is still a little bit tan from it. So I think it's a really good tanner. This is something that I personally will end up purchasing now because the self tanners really scare me because I've seen so many people where they have like orange elbows or they have orange wrists or they have orange hands and I'm like oh my gosh I don't really end up looking like that or the tan color comes out so bright orange looking that you end up looking like an Oompa Loompa honestly. So this one is a really good one. I would consider purchasing this one. Like I said, I think this is something that I will end up purchasing later on the line. I'm going to put it onto like a wish list because I think this will be a good alternative to baking in the sun. So that's a great one. The next thing is this Alterna. This is the uh, what is this called? The Infinite Color Hold Vibrancy Serum. So it's, it's supposed to be a leave-in treatment for your hair like to help with color treatment and things like that. I can't tell a big difference on whether or not it helped with my color. I think this is something that you'd have to use for a long period of time to know whether or not it's helping to maintain your color. Even a two-week period of time, I can't tell. I mean, I did recently have my hair dyed and it hasn't changed my hair color or anything like that, which is good. But, I mean, I think this is something you'd have to use for a longer time frame in order to know whether or not it actually does extend your hair color. As far as the way that it smells, it smells like most of the all other Alterna hair care line products. So if you like the Alterna hair care line, it smells similar. Uh, the other great thing is it's a very thin serum. So you put it into your hair, you just leave it in after your hair's wet. It doesn't cause your hair to look greasy or anything like that. So I think that it's a good serum. I just don't know if I could tell you guys that it made a difference or not yet. Because it was just too short of a time frame to tell whether or not it did a big difference. The next thing is this right here. This is the cow shed. This is the lazy cow. This is the soothing bath and shower gel. This still has a lot of liquid in it because I do not like the scent of this. This scent is supposed to be jasmine, chamomile, and sandalwood. This does not smell good whatsoever. It smells really bad. It smells, I don't know, it reminds me of like, I don't know. Honestly, it reminds me of like, have you guys ever seen those like millipedes or centipedes? They have a scent to them and that's what it reminds me of. It smells similar to those bugs. It's just gross. So for me, I am not going to use that. I will not purchase that. There are other things from the cow shed lawn that I think are really good, but that particular scent, mm -mm, no, it's not for me. The next thing is something that I ended up purchasing a full size of after I tried it out. I was like, I love this. This is called the Caracolor Color Plus Conditioner. To cleanse and condition, deposits color pigments, and brightens all dull blondes. So you can get it in different hair colors. So there's not just specifically for blondes. They have other hair colors that you can get as well. You put this in your hair and it definitely will make your hair brighter and lighter. So like if you're someone who's like me and you have to constantly worry about trying to make your hair so that it looks blonde and not yellow. This is a very helpful little thing to get. I really think this is a good tool to have like in your arsenal if you're trying to keep your hair blonde. I really did enjoy this. It smells really good too. So the scent's really nice. It does help with your hair color. I purchased the full size, like I said, at Ulta. So if you're interested in purchasing it, that's where you can purchase it. I think it's amazing. The next thing is something from Estee Lauder. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I love this little night repair serum. It's a really good one. I don't use it specifically at nighttime. I use it at the daytime and nighttime. I don't think there's any certain time of frame that you have to use. 
a uh, serum and things like that the only time you have to be concerned is if it has things in it that shouldn't be brought into the sunlight so if it's got something that's going to cause you to burn quicker or something like that then you want to be a little bit more careful and as far as I know I don't think this does even if it does I still wear a sunscreen every day so that's something that I practice that I preach to my kids and I do every day as well wear a good sunscreen so that you're not burning your skin because you can only damage your skin you can't reverse the effects of damage so I mean you can to an extent but it's just it's easier just to protect it to begin with so I really do like that the next thing is something from Clarins this is the Clarins instant light natural lip perfecter this is really nice I like this a lot actually I thought I wasn't gonna like it because I was like eh. it reminds me of like the Too Faced products that they had the little tip too it's like a sponge tip applicator but it doesn't deposit a whole lot of color it's just a little bit of color and once you blend that into your lips it's just basically like a a wash of color onto your lips I really like this it's very thick and emollient so if your lips are very very dry which my skin is overreacting lately again I've got like a lot of dryness around here and my lips and everything are very very dry so this has been helping to kind of give my lips some hydration as well as a little bit of color throughout the day so I really do enjoy this whoops dropped some stuff the next thing is this right here this is the Dermalogica stress positive eye lift I tried this out and I'm like honestly I don't see a difference whatsoever again these are some of these things are things that you'd have to use for a longer period of time to know whether or not it makes a difference a two week time frame is not enough time sometimes for things like this where you're trying to see if it's going to make a difference in like your bags or your dark circles or anything like that as far as it goes as immediate results again I didn't see any kind of immediate results so this is not something that you're going to put on and be like oh immediate relief nothing like that it's a very thin serum so it's not going to cause any kind of melee or anything like that underneath your eyes which is good because any kind of real thick serum under your eyes can cause Melia, there's little white bumps underneath that's where it's like blocking your ducts. So this is a good one if you're looking for something very thin consistency, but as far as whether or not it actually does help, I can't tell. The next thing are the two perfumes. I have the Viva La Juicy Glossé. This one smells really, really good. I love the Viva La Juicy line. I think almost everything from the Viva La Juicy line I love. I love the Viva La Juicy Rose. Rose I think it's Rose. That one's one of my favorites, and the original Viva La Juicy, that's a really good one. And this one is no exception. It's got a very sweet smell to it, so it definitely smells very girly. So if you're into those more girly scents, I think you might enjoy this. The next one is the Aqua de Parma Piona Nobili. I have no idea. I'm sure I just butchered that completely. I don't particularly love the scent. It's a little more strong for me. I don't love overly powerful scents because they can cause me to have headaches. I get migraines very easily. I get them like certain scents and things can trigger a migraine for me. And this is one that I feel like it would definitely trigger a migraine if I continue to wear this throughout the day. I could put it on, but I had to put it in like near my arm and then not have it near my face or anything like that because it's such a very strong scent. So for me, this is something that I would not purchase. The last thing is this right here. This is the Kat Von D. These are the Studded Kiss Lips. So this is the cream lipsticks. I am wearing one right now on my lips. You can hardly tell because it's just a very nice consistency for a lipstick. The one I'm wearing right now is the shade Bow and Arrow. I really like the shade. This is a shade that I probably would not have even picked out into a store because I've been like, it's too brown. But putting it on my lips, it surprised me because I really do like the shade of it. So here are the colors. I will swatch them for you guys. I have used them all, but these are things that you would think that there's not a whole lot in this, but there's quite a bit. I just wish there was a way that you could seal them back tight so that you can keep them for longer because I feel like they're going to dry out pretty quickly. So Bow and Arrow, like I said, is on my lips and I'll go ahead and swatch that one for you. So here is Bow and Arrow. So there's what Bow and Arrow looks like. It's a very pretty nudie brown shade. And then the next one is Lovecraft. And Lovecraft is a pinky shade and I love, it's like a really nude pink. So here's Lovecraft. That's another other, another beautiful shade. Another other, good grief. Then we have Sanctuary. Sanctuary is a more brown shade. This is one that personally I don't really love on my lips just because I'm not a huge brown lover. I don't like brown shades on my lips because it reminds me of like <laughs> Beverly Hills 90210 like in the 90s. It reminds me of the 90s honestly. Then we have Underage Red. This is a really good blue based, blue based red so it's going to help whiten your teeth. So if you're looking for something to help make your teeth look whiter, this is going to do a great job. But since it is a cream lipstick, I would just be careful. Maybe just pat it on a little bit instead of like putting it on full opacity. So that way there it's not bleeding all over. I always have trouble with darker lipsticks. And the last one is Roxy. Roxy is a very pretty purple, which actually I really do like it. I 
so might surprise you, but I actually like purple lipsticks. I think purple lipsticks are actually really nice. Purple lipsticks and purple blushes are something that I really love. So there are all the colors mixed together. It's a very creamy formula. You put it on and it, I feel like it doesn't move a whole lot, but since it is a cream, it will move a little bit. But it definitely stains your lips as well. So if you're someone who is like me and you'd rather have where it kind of wears down and it still leaves your lip stain so that you can't really tell the wear away, you're going to love these. So I'll show you that it definitely comes off easy if you rub hard enough. But once it's on your lip, it stains because like watch there, it's not coming enough. So I think the longer you leave it on, the better it's going to kind of set into your lip. So Anyway, that is a really good lipstick, so I would purchase some of those. I do currently own some Kat Von D lipsticks, and I think they're really good. So now we're going to move on to the new samples for this week. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Set them there. So the first thing I'm going to grab out of is the body care product. So in here is the body care, so I'm going to pull two out of this basket. So the first one is, this is In Spa, the exotically creamy coconut rich body butter. Ooh, it says natural vitamins for your skin, real fruit goodness. Oh my gosh, guys. It smells like a real coconut. That's, oh, it smells really good. So I'm excited about trying that out. I love anything that smells like coconut because I am just a huge summer scented fan for as far as body care products go. So I am excited about trying that out. The next thing is, what is this? We have a Nivea product. This is the Nivea Cherry Blossom Jojoba Plus Jojoba Oil. I don't know if I showed you guys the other products. I'll show you guys both of these side by side because I don't think I even showed it to you. Is it upside down? No, it's right. So there are the two body care products I'm going to be testing out this week. Set this over here without letting it fall. Do you guys remember the, the week that my basket fell off the counter? That was pretty funny. So now we're going to reach in here and grab our skincare products. These are skincare for your face. So I'm going to grab three out of this basket since it's such a fairly large basket. So I'm going to dig down deep. So the first thing is Saturday Skin. This is the Saturday Skin Featherweight Daily Moisturizing Cream. It says it strengthens your skin's own moisture barrier, sealing in hydration to protect and soften, soften your skin. I'm excited about trying that because like I said, I have been dealing with some issues with dryness around here. So see if that'll help that. And Saturday Skin is a newer brand that Sephora is carrying now. So that's exciting. The next thing is La Roche Posay. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 60. That's awesome. Ultra light sunscreen fluid for fast absorbing matte finish for normal or to combination skin. So not so sure how this is going to work with my dry skin, but we'll try it out anyway. And then one more product out of this basket. So the last product out of here is a number seven product. So it says number seven, restore and renew face and neck multi-action serum suitable for sensitive skin so i'm excited about trying that i've not tried too many things from the number seven line if you guys have let me know what are some of your favorite things from the number seven line all right that's that basket so now moving on to the hair care basket oh my gosh this basket's like really heavy and very full it's about to topple over so i'm gonna pull two out of here try two without looking okay the first thing is this right here we have the diva curl whip it whip it good wave maker touchable texture whip Ooh. I'm excited about trying that because I'm trying to find some hair care products to take with me to the beach so I don't have to take a curling iron because I'd rather have more natural looking hair so my hair when it's naturally like if I let it naturally dry it does have some wave to it so hopefully this will help and maybe that'll be a thing that I pick up to take with me to the beach the next hair care product oh I'm dropping some we have a sexy hair this is the strong sexy hair core strength aloe vera and mango butter this is a nourishing anti-breakage mask Ooh, you guys know I'm always looking for things to help with my hair because my hair is not the best condition ever. So that'd be exciting to try out. I'm going to set this down here before I end up dropping it. And that's not a good basket to try to drop and pick up. The next basket is the makeup basket. So the makeup basket's right here. So I'm going to pull two out of here. The first product is, whoops, right here. So the first product is something from NARS. This is the NARS Audacious Mascara. Introducing the NARS Audacious Mascara. What is it supposed to do? It doesn't tell you, so we'll have to see if it gives me length of volume or what it does for my, my lashes. So I'll have to try that out. It doesn't say. It says it's in the shade Black Moon. I don't know. If you guys have ever tried that, let me know what you think of it. The next one is... Oh! What do we have here? We have the Cover FX Pick Click... Oh, I've tried this before. I know I've tried this before. I'm going to stick this in the giveaway basket because I've already tried that. I need to go through my baskets and pull out items I've already tried. That's something that I need to work on. The next item is, oops, we got a bunch of things coming out. 
We have a Bare Minerals Gen Nude Radiant Lipstick. I've tried most of the Bare Minerals Gen Nudes, so this is something else I'm going to stick in the giveaway basket. We've had a lot of duplicates coming out this time. And then we're going to try one more. Third time's a charm, right? We have the Bare Minerals Nothing Beats the Original Original Foundation. Now, I have tried this, but it's been a very, very long time ago that I tried it, so I would like to kind of refresh my memory on how good this is or if it's even good, any good for dry skin because I know a lot of powders don't work that good on my dry skin because it kind of accentuates the dryness. So I have to see how that one does. Oops, don't move. <laughs> Almost dropped another basket. Now we're on to the perfume samples. So the perfume samples are here. So the first one is we have... Paco Raboon. Uh, I've tried this before. I know I've tried that. That one reminds me of like, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I remember that name. Okay. The next one is Bond Number no. 9, New York Copper Square. Ooh, I've been really wanting to purchase one of the Bond Number no. 9 perfumes, so I'm going to have to see how good that one is. I know they sell them like at like Nordstrom and things like that, but they're pretty expensive for the Bond perfume. So the next one is, what is this? Joe Malone nectarine blossom and honey Ooh, honey that sounds really good let's see what it smells like tap 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 don't rub because you're gonna ruin the notes oh my gosh it smells really good so i'm excited about wearing that one mm, it smells very spring like so now we're gonna move on to the giveaway from last week so i have two bags here to give away from last week and let me talk about the winners so i'm gonna pick up the first basket or the bag and the winner for that one is uh, just call me Joe. So just call me Joe. If you could send me an email letting me know your mailing address, I will mail this goodie out to you. This is yours. And then the other, whoops, the other winner is Christy Windland. Christy, can you send me an email at my mailing address? My email address will be listed below. So send me an email with your mailing address and this goodie bag is yours. So those are the two winners from last week. I told you guys last week that I was going to try to, or not last week, or before when I did the last sample Sunday that I was going to try to do some more giveaways. I promise you there are more giveaways coming. I'm waiting on the items to be shipped to me. So I have a kind of a good giveaway coming up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. It's fun for me. I think so anyway. So you have to see if you like it. So now we're going to get into this week's giveaway. So the basket or the bag that I'm going to put everything in is going to go in this bag right here. I don't know what this bag is from. I think it's a Sephora bag. Honestly, it's like a skincare bag maybe. So I'm going to pull eight samples out of here and these are going to be your samples for the little giveaway. So the first one is the Strivectin, the Teal Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. This is an excellent neck cream. I think whoever gets this, you're going to absolutely love this neck cream. I noticed a difference almost immediately with using that neck cream. The next one is a, no, a Stellar. This is a Stellar Cosmic Face Powder. So it's in the shade Haze. So here's a little Stellar Powder. It's in the shade Haze. So there's a little, powder. So there's two items so far. The next item is Skin Fix. This is the Foaming of Face Cleanse. Sorry guys, I'm like choking here. This is the Foaming Clay Cleanser. So here's a Foaming Face Cleanser for this goodie bag. There's three, I'm like tongue tied, tongue -tied, -tied today. Oh my gosh. The next thing is a Kat Von D product. So this is the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. So here's a little Kat Von D powder. There's four items. Four more to go, guys. The next item is a mascara. This is the Maybelline Gra Great Lash Blackest Black Mascara. So here's a mascara for someone. There's five. Three more, guys. The next item, I'm trying to dig around and find some goodies for you guys. Oops, I got two here. Oh, we're good. you can have some of these. These are L'Occitane Immortelle Divine Creams. So these are very expensive. So these are something that you definitely want to try out to see if you want to, if you enjoy it before you buy it because L'Occitane is a very expensive one. So I'm going to count that as one sample. So there's six, <laughs> two more. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm like, how many did I do so far? The next one is a perfume. So this is the Prada Candy Perfume little sample. One more. And the last sample for this week is this right here. What is this? We have the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in the shade Bunny. So I'm not sure what these are. I know I have samples to try, but I haven't tried them yet. So I'm excited to see whoever gets this, how it works for them. So I'm going to stick all these goodies. I'm going to pick them all up here and I'll show you. I'm sticking them all down into the goodie bag here. So in order to win this goodie bag, if you're interested, sorry about that, guys. If you're order to win this goodie bag if you're interested all you have to do is leave me a comment letting me know anything you can let me know what your favorite sample is you can let me know how your week was it doesn't really matter just leave me a comment and then you're entered and I will do a random giveaway next week and let you guys know who the winner is for this little goodie bag 
so anyway that is today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know again what's your favorite sample for this past week if you've been using samples if not let me know what kind of samples do you take with you when you travel because i know i took quite a few samples with me when i traveled thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later mm -hmm.